Oh, then we'll give me a chance to talk to her. Hi, hey, no, hold it. No talk. The decision has been made. She's under hypnosis. Don't you go barging in there, okay? Oh, wait a minute, Tom. She's my wife. Don't you go telling me what to do and what not to do when it comes to her. Clint. Your husband and I had a lengthy phone conversation about this. Fortunately, I was a colleague of Marcus Post's, and on occasion, he would consult me about your case. Well, that's certainly a relief. I mean, we can just go ahead and do this then, and I don't have to fill you in on any details about Nikki, right? You know, Dr. Ireland, I really have to tell you right up front that I don't believe she exists anymore, and I think this is a total waste of time. However, since my husband seems to believe that there is a slim possibility that Nikki stole our daughter from her nursery... You're submitting to this procedure? Yes. I understand, Mrs. McCann. I'm very sorry your daughter is still missing, that this has become necessary. If you would lie down on the chaise, please. You do understand that I have to record this session for the police. Nancy, I have a feeling that your mother isn't going to like this talk. I have qualms about it myself. But I have no choice. interrupting uh... it's all right she hasn't been hypnotized yet uh, go ahead and take a few moments thank you I'm glad you came I just had to had to tell you that I love you very much and I'm sorry about things I said earlier. Oh, it's all right. I understand why you had to say them. Are you sure? Yes. I feel like such a louse for doubting you, honey, for forcing you. Well, at least we'll clear up all doubts one way or the other, right? We should begin, Vicki. Uh, Doctor, may I, uh, may I stay? It would really be better if you did. I'll be very quiet. Please, uh, Dr. Ireland, if you wouldn't mind, I really would like him to stay. I'd feel much safer, much easier about the whole thing if he were here. All right, give me a sit over here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Can you, uh, Make it so that I can remember all of this when it's over? Yes. If you would lie back, please. And close your eyes. Good. Now just try to relax your entire body. Put your hands on your lap. And take a deep breath. Good and let the tension just flow out of your body. Now, I want you to open your eyes and focus your entire attention on this object. Good. Concentrate. And your eyes are becoming heavier and heavier. Good. Very good. around the nursery and thinking 
thinking what a proud father Clint was and how wonderful he had been to my boys, Kevin and Joey, during the past few years. And then I thought about Cord and how Clint didn't even know that there was another young man in the world that belonged to him. And I thought how shocked he was going to be and how very angry he would be with his father and with Maria. But that how happy he would be eventually. But Vicky, weren't you upset also? I mean, here you thought you were giving your husband his firstborn and it turned out not to be the first at all? I was upset, yes, but only because Clint had been deceived by his father and Maria and her mother and, and I knew it would be traumatic for him. And what other emotions did you feel? I remember thinking about Cord and how much I liked him and how much Clint liked him and what a very welcome addition he was going to be to our family. He would be my boy's older brother and Jessica's older brother, and all that went through my mind. Did you find this very painful? Very painful? No, not at all. Wasn't there a moment, just a moment, when you felt you couldn't handle it, that you tried to shove it away? No, I don't think so. Nikki? Nikki Smith, you know. What did you do on the night of October 2nd? Nikki, it's Clint. I uh, want to talk please, to you. Please, Mr. Buchanan, she can't hear you. Vicki? Yes? Are you forcing Nikki Smith to hide and remain quiet? No. There is no Nikki Smith. She's gone. I don't need her anymore. You're sure about that? Yes. Nikki is dead. She has disappeared. She does not have a home inside me. You're positive that she didn't come out just for a few hours on the night of the kidnapping? No, she did not. Somebody else took our baby. It was Nikki. And I was fine that night. Except... I was so tired. I put Jessica to bed and I came down to the library. I had a cup of tea. I was waiting for Clint to come home to tell him about Cord. But I couldn't seem to stay awake and I dozed off. And then the doorbell rang. It was Jeannie Johnson. She was a friend of Nikki's. And then she became a friend of mine too and we talked and... and she left and I went to sleep again. And I remember dreaming, and then Clint was waking me up. Do you have any doubts about these events as you've related them? Is there any chance that you didn't go to sleep, but instead slipped into your alternate personality? No. Nikki is no longer a part of me. Why won't you believe me? At the count of three, you'll wake up. And you'll remember everything you said. One, two, three. Open your eyes, Vicki. Hello there, Vicki. Roberts, is there been a phone call for me? Uh, Nikki's subconscious that would suggest the sort of trauma Nikki needs to materialize. Even finding out that I had a grown son? Well, you were in the room. You heard what she said. I even pushed a bit, but she seemed to take the news in stride, worrying more about you than anything else. Yeah. So you're saying that you are pretty sure this theory should be dropped, but you can't be positive. Exactly. Oh, Tina, I'm, I do believe you. I even prefaced the question by saying I had to ask it. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry I ever saw that woman. I'm sorry all this business even got started. My theory at the moment is that some woman purposely dressed up to look like Nikki Smith in case someone saw her so that the suspicion would come on me. But who would do that? Obviously somebody living in this world. Yeah, but nobody you know. 
Oh, Tina. Oh, Tina, I... I couldn't deal with it if it was somebody I knew, somebody who could see our suffering and not respond to it. No, I... I, I think it has to be some stranger who just read about Nikki Smith and capitalized on it. Yeah, but... Well, how would you find them? I don't know, but they've got to be there someplace. They've got to be out there somewhere, living with my baby, taking care of her. I hope. I couldn't bear it. I couldn't bear to think that she wasn't well taken care of. I mean, for heaven's sakes, whoever this was went to an awful lot of trouble just to, to steal a baby, didn't she? I'm sure you're right. I, I'm sure you're right. I mean, you offered all that reward money, right? I mean, obviously, she wants a, a baby more, more than the money. So going on the assumption that this is somebody who is capable of love, who, who wants a baby to love so much that she went out to steal one, do you think maybe I could reach this person on an emotional level? I, I don't know. You might, but, but first you'd have to find her. Yes. Maybe I can get her to find me. Thank you for talking this through with me. What is she going to do? Please, Mom. You can't do this to me. No. I am walking out that door. She's your responsibility. But I have to work. Well, take time off. Oh, honey, look, in time, you're going to forget that this is Mitch's baby. In time, it won't even matter anymore. But it'll matter to a lot of people in this town. Well, then, move back to Jersey. The three of us can live there together. No, I can't, Mom. Please, just take her for now. I'll come on the weekend, and I'll spend all the time that you want. No. She is yours. Now, I want you to start behaving as if she were. Mom, please, you can't do this to me. No, Mom, I can't take you. care of her. Mother, you can't, can't leave me with this child. I can't take care of her by myself. Mother! Jessica Buchanan. It's my turn. 